My name is Jan Vary. This belongs to Caitlin. One of the questions I really wanted to know, which I thought was very cool, is that I felt like a lot of the characters, um, their storylines paralleled what was happening with the pigeons. So for the two of you, yeah, I'd like to know how does your character parallel that of a racing pigeon? That's such a smart note because you're exactly right. Um, the reason Caitlin is so kind of fascinated with the idea of prisoner birds is because she feels like if she loses her house, she'll become a prisoner bird. Mm. That her house won't be her home. It won't be the place that she's bonded to. It'll feel foreign. It'll feel like she's stuck there, that she's trapped there. And she's more free at her house and her room and her space that she feels comfortable with. Um, and I think when... Uh, the pigeons go out and they fly and, you know, they're, they bond to their coop and their home. She just, she sees so much of it in herself and what she's going through. It's, it's almost becomes like a way of coping for her. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I feel Caitlin relates to the pigeons. So how about you, Jay? Yeah. Uh <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Um, I, I think, you know, the way Adam relates to the pigeons, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, I feel like it's almost like a pet, to be honest, you know? Like, he, he finds comfort in, you know, just being able to say, hey, these pigeons, you know, they're so resilient, you know, in the way of, like, finding their home and stuff like that it's like how how can i like relay that in like into my life you know i uh, i mean we don't really see i guess the way that he connects with the pigeons in a certain way but i mean we, there's so many scenes where we just see him like oh could you oh, you know just doing a whole bunch of stuff you know just like <laughs> um i feel like he just finds comfort in the way that you know in pigeons and the way that, you know, regular people might find comfort in dogs or cats or in, in, in a certain way. Yeah. I love dogs. <laughs> I love dogs, too. You have destroyed what's left of my life. When was the last time I was happy? Why didn't you call the cops that night? You're a good kid who made a stupid mistake. All of the characters are in a state of crisis that we're seeing as this is playing out parallel to what's happening with the pigeons. Can you talk a little bit about about that and the parallel? Yeah, totally. I mean, that's what I loved about the script is that everyone is in a state of crisis. Everyone is dying in one way or another, figuratively or literally in this movie. Um, and ultimately the movie for me is about the characters being able to push through to the other side of that. And, you know, when, when, uh, when pigeons are released at the start of a race, the person who releases them from the truck is called the liberator. And I love that idea, that, that, that title. And so... I wanted this movie to feel like in terms of the metaphor for the pigeons with the pigeons is that th this is about these characters finding liberation out of the crises that they're facing. So I do want to start with the article. I was blown away by what I read. I have never seen or heard anything like this. Um, I guess what I want to know to start it off is really what inspired that piece. Really, this was a happy accident. I was out walking my dog one day, and there was a young girl walking her dog, and we began chatting, as one does when you're out dog walking. And she mentioned casually that she was raising racing pigeons. I just was flabbergasted, uh, not only because I didn't know anybody still raced pigeons. I had no idea this still existed as not only just a hobby, but a real sport with a lot of participants, most of whom are late middle-aged men. So hearing this coming out of the mouth of a bright a young woman, I thought this is an amazing story. And I, I knew immediately that it was something I wanted to write about. Why did I think I could fix this? That's how you feel now. You have no idea how I feel. I promise you have a great life ahead of you. Are you afraid to die? I was sure that my life was a flock of birds and I could feel them flying away. What was it for you? I mean, how did you, you go from this article to... It, it was an accident for me too because Steven Spielberg 
had the same experience you did reading Susan's article and reached out to me and sent me the article and had me come in and chat with him about it. And then I got to meet Susan and we talked a lot about pigeon racing and I got to go meet the young gal that she had based the story on who she had met. I met her and her mom. And then I did more kind of research on pigeon racing and kind of extended her story into a world of a girl's point of view and her coming of age and creating Jan as, you know, her, this, this guy that she kind of has to smash into and kind of they have to fix something together. So that really became the movie. Are you afraid to die? I was sure that my life was a flock of birds and I could feel them flying away. But everything can be all right as long as you're not alone. Let's do it. 